How should I lie down? Like this? Yes. As his family looks on, Mongu receives the first cuts. The process will take nearly an hour. Mongu's ordeal is nearly over. His scarified peers arrive to hail his courage. The boys honor the ancestral spirits singing to celebrate their friend's hard-earned manhood. By enduring the pain of scarification, Mongu has proved his manhood and cemented his bond with the community. To Tyler, his brand represents freedom, specifically his freedom to modify his body any way he wants. Unlike branders of the past, Brian will burn Tyler's arm inch by inch. It will take several hours. If I was him right now in this circumstance, I'd definitely be nervous. Brian's only tools are a wedge of stainless steel, a vice grip, and a blowtorch. From the first strike, the pain is excruciating. Heated to at least 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, the steel instantly vaporizes Tyler's skin. Even after the metal is removed, the tissue continues to burn. Branding is so torturous, Tyler is running the risk his body could go into shock. At the very least, his inflamed skin will remain susceptible to infection for days to come. Gradually, Tyler grows accustomed to the pain, and he is able to lay still and watch Brian finish. That scar is hopefully it's going to look decent. In all, the process has taken five hours. And despite the torment, Tyler is content with his accomplishment. He didn't quit. And he's gotten another unique mark to signal his identity. It hurt really bad, but what just made it all the more worse was the smell of it and hearing my skin pop. 